All right, we're on hole number 15 of the Silver State Tournament. I'm in the opening round of the Ricky Division. We're on Milano, hole number six. All right, I'm trying to get out into this area right here. And I'm trying to get out there with my QB, which is a Tour 4 club, and it does not take very long to get that club up to level six. And it becomes usable at level six. I had a bunch of cards for it, and I held on to them until I got it. I started it off at level three because it became a usable club. It took over for the rocket when it got to level three. And so if you look at your rocket, my quarterback took over for the rocket, especially with that accuracy. Accuracy is a big deal and ball guide. You know, those are big deals and curl. So it took over for the rocket at about level three. So I upgraded it to level three and then I didn't upgrade it until I had enough cards to get it to level six. But it doesn't take very long or very many games won at tour four to get it to level six because you get a lot of common cards. Think about how many common cards there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's only seven, eight cards that you get, and you're going to use a couple of those cards. So you're going to get a lot of common cards, and once you get the Tour 4, and that you're going to upgrade that quarterback to level seven really quick. Six really quick. I'm going to bring a Kingmaker. I saved four Kingmakers. I saved my Kingmakers just for this hole. So I started off with five of them, and I have and I have saved them, hoarded them, just for this hole. I'm going to bring a quarterback and a viper. Those are my ponies. And I, I don't necessarily need the kingmaker. I can get this done with the katana. But the kingmaker is going to give me a little more distance on the drive. But what the kingmaker is going to do is put me in my viper range so that I can do a rough bump. And it's all about, this is a pure setup shot. So it's all about executing on this shot. Let me open up the one that I can save two gems. I always want to play with an empty slot. Hole number 15. Here we go. So I'm trying to leave myself enough room that I can hit a great to the left or the right and still end up on the fairway moving forward. The risk is, is the great to the left. I have enough room on the right that I can hit a one ring great to the right, but uh, the one ring great to the left is going to rub me right up against the edge. If I hit a two ring great to the left, I could be in serious trouble. And there's not quite enough room for me to give myself the room that I normally like to give myself, where I like to be three rings off. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be eking towards the two and a half. Give myself enough room for my curl to become effective. 2 6, 100% accurate club, so that's about two and a half rings. Max curl. Hitting it perfect. You can see how close I am over there on the left. I have more room on the right. So. I have more room on the right once it goes down the fairway, but I have less room on the right on the first bounce. So if I hit a one ring great to the right, I'm right down here up against, I'm just off of the rough. So I've got this cleared with the, and then I've got plenty of room. But if I hit a one ring great to the left, I've got plenty of room on the first bounce, but where I can come into trouble is down there on that, uh, where that little rough sticks out. So the katana doesn't hurt them on the drive. Where it can become problematic is on this, on this shot right here. I'm gonna eek out there just a bit. I'm gonna go right at the hole. Okay, it's two five. It's one point nine per ring, so that leaves me six. So it's about a ring and a third. And I gotta hit it perfect. I don't want to go to the left because I might clip that tree. Ain't it perfect? I still might clip that tree. Whew, just missed it. Almost in the hole. 
and last time I was right over here on the other side of it. I have, I've got this hole surrounded. You have just as good a shot of getting an albi here with lower developed stuff if you set your shot up and you play your, you play the wind rings right. It's so important to learn the wind rings and know how to set it up so you're not blindly doing it. When you're doing these rough bumps, the reason so many people are inconsistent with these rough bumps is because if they're not doing really good wind adjustments, like they're in their Goliath and they're at max club, so it should be somewhere in the two per ring range. So they're going to be about a ring and three quarters. So if they don't make a perfect, and they did, they set it up like they are doing the wind ring adjustments, so they know their ring numbers. But when you see people eyeball it, and that great to the right, just don't clip the tree. Close. I was that close to Albie. In the hole. Came here to get an eagle, I got an eagle. I gave myself a serious Albie look. <laughs> that was the goal. Would have been nice to get that Albie though. But I'm saving those Albies for the weekend round. What I'd like to get is just a titch more distance out there. And I could put a little bit of overpower on it, but if and give myself a little bit more distance so I could just clear that tree just a little bit more to give myself a little bit of breathing room. I will forfeit. game. Good luck in the tournament. All right, that was hole number 15 of the Silver State Tournament in the opening round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.